Uh, how are the tough wheels? Is it tough? <laughs> <laughs> Don't really know how to answer this whether tough or not tough, but uh. I mean, so far it performs well for you. I mean, for speed wise, I, I think I mean, for me, I always because uh, before I got this this tough but uh, tough wheel, right, actually, I, I got a, a loan loan uh, uh, wheel from Sam actually. Hmm. Yeah, and it, it was also a, a carbon uh, wheel, so I got to uh, got to compare lah. Uh, I feel that this 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 wheel uh, can maintain the speed better. Hmm. Welcome back to another video guys. Today uh, I've got another guest, Jess, and a Basso Astra 2021 with Altegra DI2 and these are tough wheel sets. I, I've seen a few couple of tough but I've never really uh, went into detail or know where it's made. Um, Jess, thank you so much for coming. Uh, Again, could you please introduce yourself and uh, tell us about your bike? Sure, sure. So uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm Jess. Um been riding for around four years but actually uh, more regular uh, since COVID. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so actually I got this bike uh, just last year, July. Uh, my first bike actually was a second hand bike that I got from another friend. Yeah. So I started cycling actually just because I want to get into triathlon. Yeah. I thought that uh, streaming and running is okay but uh, bike is something that I never really like. Uh, I mean can't imagine really like cycling, right? So, so, so then I start with, uh, started with a second-hand bike. Then during COVID, I thought that uh, second-hand bike was like a very good price. Then I just, 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 just sold it and get another one. La. Yeah. And my, my, I mean, actually, uh, Basso was never on my radar before because I never heard of it. And my previous bike, previous bike was actually uh, Pina. Then my friend, I mean, uh, told me about this and go and go and google read a bit then feel like a bit special la, for a lady i mean unique uh, not so mainstream so that okay la, uh, uh, just, just 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 get it la. so so yeah in singapore uh, i got this from a distributor spin assist yeah so uh why i got astra compared to the higher end is because uh, of my height the higher end even though the smallest uh, frame also can't really fit me so this astra it's the smallest already, 45. Yeah, and I think it fit me quite well. La, but uh, um, if I go by the standard size, right, also it, it won't be like, uh, it will be like quite flat actually. Like, uh, no saddle to bar yeah, drop. Yeah, correct. Right? Mm. Yeah, so I, I just recently changed to 155. Wow, 155 yeah. crank? Yeah, actually. Wow, I didn't yeah. know they came so small. Uh, actually, this is the other thing that I, that I will explain later. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So the whole bike actually is cu uh, customized. So I got the 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 frame from I mean Basel, right? Then, but uh, Spin Assist helped me to I mean uh, uh, build up this bike lah. They they got everything for me. Uh, the the wheel set, uh, the wheel, and the grip set, and things like that. Yeah. So um, and also I, I want to be, look a bit like uh, aero instead of like uh, the the seat to uh, uh, bar drop quite flat. Right? So also got into one five five. I think that. Actually, it so helped me in my in my pedal uh, efficiency mm. as well, yeah. Do you find that the so before the one five five mm cranks, right? One six five. It was one six five. Yeah. Uh, then now with one five five, do you feel that your cadence has increased? Yeah, yeah. Much more, right? Yeah, yeah. And because the crank arms are shorter, you have to raise your seat post, right, to Correct. compensate uh, for the shorter. So yeah. Uh, go by like one cm, one cm. Also, I, mm. I drop by uh, ten mm, kind of uh, crank m. Then I go by one cm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Maybe on the backtrack a little bit before mm. <laughs> yeah. I get into the bike, right? Yeah. Um, so you, you said you've been cycling for about uh, four years. Yeah. And what was your very first bike? Uh, Pina. Pina, the um, mid-range bike. It I wasn't can't. the F series. Yeah, it's not an F series. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you are, are you a triathlete? Uh, yes. So you started with uh, running and swimming and then uh, you're going to bike. Actually, it's, uh, just running. Then I thought I, uh, I want to be like uh, more... Uh, 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 so called diverse like in the sense that I want to like do more things and then uh, train more then yeah then mm. I got it. Okay. So uh, with the Pinarello then because you said the bike prices were quite high during COVID, so yeah. you sold and you bought this. Yeah. Uh how much do you pay for this? Uh I actually I moved my I moved my grand uh, grand set over last, but the the rest is new. Mm -hmm. So roughly 
if everything add up should close to about 10k. 10k? Yeah. How much is the frame? The frame itself, I think, 3, 4. 3, 4K? Okay, that's not too expensive. Yeah. So is this uh so the basso for my viewers who don't know is an Italian brand, not yeah. very popular in Singapore. Actually, yeah. my first encounter with a basso was the, I think it's a more aero one, uh, basso diamante. I'm probably not saying it right. Yeah. Um, is this frame made in Italy? Or are they all commissioned out of Taiwan? No, it's a uh, handmade in Italy. That's that oh. that's got my in, uh, attention actually. But it's quite cheap, right, for a bike that's handmade in Italy for three four thousand. Mm. Usually handmade. Bikes from Italy, they are like you know what, ten thousand. Even yeah. Pinarellos are not even made in in Italy. They are yeah, made in China, yeah, Taiwan, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, okay, three four thousand. Um, why why a basso? Sorry, I, I probably you probably said this again. But. Uh, um, yeah, it's handmade lot. I mean, uh, totally handmade. Uh, not like uh, also to Taiwan or China kind mm. of thing. Then yeah, I thought the color also quite unique. So yeah, yeah. And you, what's your height? Uh, one six three. And this is a forty five. Yeah. Is this the smallest? The smallest. Do you go for a bike fit? Uh, my previous bike, yes. Okay. Yeah. So then, how? So you did a bike fit in a previous bike. Then how do you transfer over the? I roughly, I, I measure those uh roughly the geometry, the 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 the, the, the ridge and things like that. Uh, then I roughly uh, match to this. Okay. Call this geometry gig, right? This website. Then I, I compare roughly. Then I see, yeah. Wow, okay. you did everything uh, very detailed, <laughs> uh, even down to the, um. Okay, so this is a Basso Astra. Um, is this considered an aero bike or is it more like a half half thing? I, I would say it's a, uh, according to the website, it's uh, a racing bike, but it's fit for endurance purpose. Okay, so yeah. are you an endurance rider or? I, I'm more an endurance, uh, definitely endurance. So you do like more than 100 clicks every ride? Mm, not every ride, uh, but uh, 80 plus yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you have DI2, but your crank set is a bit different. So is this uh, a quad power meter? Yeah, it's a Roja, Roja crank. Uh. Roja. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what crank is this? Uh, uh, it's a crowder yeah, crank arm, yeah. but the chain ring is, uh, what chain ring is that? Uh, Roto uh, over chain ring. Oh, over chain ring. Yeah. Why did you get the over chain ring? Uh, also, for um, uh, my, my friend, uh, my friend said actually it's better for, for a lady uh, uh, when doing climbing and things like that. And I, I, when I got into it, and I thought, thought that it's really quite good. La. Does it make any difference? I feel... Um, it, it, it makes the pedaling feel rounder than the round chain oh, ring actually. Okay. Because my friends who had oval chain rings, uh, they say that it helped during climbs. Yes, correct. Does it really help? Yeah. In what sense does it help? Because I've never experienced, I don't know what I does it feel like. I think from that uh, 12 o'clock to that 3 o'clock kind of, you, you, you can, I think that um, can keep that power. Mm, okay. Yeah. So you, endurance, so you like both climbs, flats, everything? Actually, I like climbing more, but then I'm, uh, I mean, I, I, compared to flat, definitely I'm weaker, la, so, uh, so yeah. Okay, um, do you travel and uh, you know with, with your bike? Uh, this bike, uh, because it's a COVID bike, right? So <laughs> <laughs> you, you never had a chance? Yeah, uh, just recently to uh, KL and Penang only. Oh, so you, you transported your bike there or you cycle all the way? Uh, no, transported. Yeah. Okay, uh, what, what is your tips for those who want to uh, transport their bikes? I, I've transported my bike once to KL before. Mm. I bought a, I rented a... Um, my bike. Yeah, the bike bike, but it's the mountain bike brand, I can't remember, but because I have rotors, right? So one of okay. the tips that my friend told me was to mm. always take out the rotor and not keep it. Uh, how, how do you pack your bike? Do you have a bike bag? Yeah, so I, I, so I have a bike bag. Um, mine is a soft, soft case one, so it's um, easier. I just need to take out the wheel and just uh, slot the, the spacer into the, uh, the, the brake. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hand, and handlebar, you have to remove it as well, seat post. Uh, no need. Okay. So everything just... Uh, you just turn it, right? Yeah, uh, just f fit into the, the frame. Yeah, mm. uh, with the uh, true X. Mm. Then just put the wheel, that's it. So mm. it's quite easy for me. La. Do you I, wrap I, your bike or uh, any they, extra precaution? They, they come with all the paddings. Okay, which yeah. backpack is that? Uh, I have Sikon and uh, double XF. Wow, so double you do a lot of traveling with the bike? Or your previous bikes? Or? Uh, me and my husband. La, so okay, yeah. where, do you guys, where do you guys go? Uh, we went Penang, Taiwan, and yeah, I mean, those that we flew out is uh, Penang and Taiwan. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. wow, very adventurous, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to the bike, uh, you've already explained the group set DI2 uh, in disc. Okay, what about these wheels? Tough, I've never heard of it. Yeah, also introduced by Sam Lamy from Spin Assist. He said that, uh, I mean, this is a uh, 
whole carbon wheel, uh, including the spokes. Yeah, and it's quite lightweight. I think it's, uh, if not mistaken, it's 1680 uh, gram for uh, the whole set. Mm. Yeah, um, it's called Ta from Australia actually. Oh, it's an Australian brand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, huh? Not so common in Singapore, but I saw quite a few also. La. How much is this? Thousand plus. Okay. More than thousand five la, Yes, because Pinexis uh, introduced you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the hub is uh, in house, so there's a uh, it's cheaper like compared if you uh, got got a uh, Chris, uh, Chris King hub. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So in house as in uh, in house by Tough. Yeah, themselves. correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about handlebar and saddle? Oh yeah, so um, the handlebar right by right, uh, if original from uh, Basel is 40, but uh, again lady I right, cannot, so I got this uh, Shimano Pro uh, 38. Mm. Yeah. I also run 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and saddle? Saddle is uh, Saddle Italia uh, Diver Gel. Pro. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one is for my old bike. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Any plans to get, you know, the new power mirror, 3D printed <laughs> stuff? I think uh, the whole thing looks very nice except this, but... Uh, <laughs> looks but, very chunky. But I feel uh, very comfortable, uh, so yeah. I will keep it, yeah. Okay. It's not easy to get something that really fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I want to talk about the handlebar, right? Mm. It's really nice. It's the Pro Vibe, is it? Yeah, yeah. Is this the newest one? Mm, I think not the latest one, uh, probably. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm surprised. Uh, this is a 2021 model, but does it? It doesn't come with an integrated cockpit. You know, nowadays most bikes are integrated. Uh, yeah, the upper range, yes, but this one, no. Oh, yeah. only the upper range. Yeah. Okay. And how's the performance of you know the frame? I like. I, I like. I really like it. I I think the stiffness is there. Uh, when I go flat, the 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 speed maintenance. Uh, it's very good. Mm. Yeah. I I noticed you have a Garmin H830, right? Yeah. Uh, I run. This is quite an old model, is it? Yeah, old model. I, I run the 530. What, what is the difference like the 830 compared to the 5 series? I mean, if without the newer version, right, 830 compared to the 530, is 830 can do uh, navigation. Mm. Yeah. Because you travel a lot, probably you need the navigation. But actually, I don't really use also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at reading map. By the time it asks me the time, I probably never pass the time. <laughs> do you have a power, power meter? Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, it was a quark, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, how, how do you find it? Is it accurate? Um, compared to my indoor one, actually it's quite close, so I thought that it's, it's, yeah, it's good. Mm. Um, and the weight of the bike is 8.4 kilos. Correct. Uh, anything that you do not like about this bike, or you wish that, you know, any more future upgrades? Mm, if it's integrated, I thought it's cooler. Mm. Yeah. Because there are cables still running outside to the fork. Yeah. But you can, can this thing be fully integrated? I asked before, uh, cannot. Cannot, I right? also wish, yeah. <laughs> maybe, why, why is it so? I, I maybe probably they designed the frame like yeah, that, right? Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, any more things that you want to talk about before I, the last part is uh, Instagram questions? Uh, um, I, I thought that uh, there's one thing here called a uh, 3B clamp system. Oh, okay. Actually, it's an anti vibration uh, thing that makes this bike uh, more endurance uh, friendly. Mm. So it's, but it's invisible. So I thought it's something that uh, is, I mean, uh, Basel really. Um, I mean, uh, thought through Tari. It's like the Bianchi. Oh, wow, Bianchi has that, that, that thing also. I can't remember the name. Uh, it's something like dampening kind of system, yeah, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. The, do you feel it softer? Or oh, no difference? I, I, I mean, I did Odex 200km in Singapore and I, I feel comfortable. Uh. So, yeah. Now we'll move on to the Instagram Q&A. If you guys want to ask your questions, you can follow me on Instagram and you get a chance to ask your questions. Um, so today's Instagram Q&A, I uh, have provided just the questions up front because uh, <laughs> I thought she'd be more prepared uh, with the questions. So uh, other, other guys will not get this chance, uh, only special chance for her <laughs> for today. Um, so just the first question is, why the Rojak crankset? Actually, I started with, uh, I mean, a normal kind of crank set, right? Uh, SRAM uh, 165, but then uh, slowly when I um, write and I want to improve uh, things like climbing, uh, my pedal efficiency, then I slowly change. Uh. Mm. So, uh, first thing I change is the chain ring from uh, normal round chain ring to over chain ring. Mm. Then I also want to improve my pedal efficiency and also to look more, a bit more aero, so I change to the shorter current arm. Mm. One six five to one five five. Yeah. So that explained the the the, the oh, rejection. Yeah. <laughs> um, was it difficult to source a very short crank uh crank arm of one five five? Um, 
I think previously it's harder, but now it seems like there are two brands that are doing, uh, having a shorter career, um, uh, FSA and uh, Groda. I think both are from Taiwan. Yeah, mm. probably Taiwan. I think a lot. I mean, Asian, right? And yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you find any major differences besides a shorter crank set? Uh, I mean, besides having higher cadence, I mean, obviously when you, sh you shorten your crank set, your cadence will go higher. Uh, any other differences besides that? Um, somehow I feel my pedaling is smoother and I can uh, maintain, maintain the speed. Mm, okay. The next question is, why Basso? It is relatively under the radar compared to other Italian brands. Yeah. Were there any other Italian brands besides Basso that you were looking at? I was looking at still at Pina, which uh, I mean, same at my uh, uh, previous bike, but uh, it's really expensive. <laughs> I, I don't, don't want to like spend uh, eighteen thousand for a bike, and I thought that it's ten thousand something that unique. Not some, I mean, although it's expensive, but still a lot of people ride in Singapore. Like, yeah. I have a lot of rich Singaporeans, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that okay, like, this bike uh, close to ten thousand, unique. Okay, like, just 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 bust off. Yeah. Do you ever think you'll get a Pinarello? Is that on your wish list? Mm. Or do you think it's just way, you know, it doesn't justify the price? If I'm much faster, probably I will get. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the going on the Pinarello will make you faster? Uh, not really, I need to make myself faster first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this uh, endurance geometry, mm. is it very comfortable? Uh, I did all that's 200 km here, Singapore, I, I feel, yeah. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. From the same user, uh, how are the tough wheels, is it tough? <laughs> Mm. Don't really know how to answer this <laughs> whether tough or not tough, but uh, I mean, so far it performs well for you. I mean, for speed wise, I, I think I mean, for me, I always because uh, before I got this this tough but uh, tough view, right, actually, I, I got a uh, loan, loan uh, uh, wheel from Sam actually, hmm. yeah, and it, it was also a, a carbon uh, wheel, so I got to uh, got to compare la. Uh, I feel that this 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 wheel uh, can maintain the speed better. Mm. And of when you pick up the speed also, it's better. Sorry, how much was it again? About thousand eight, is it? Thousand five to two thousand. Thousand five to thousand eight, uh, I can't really remember. Okay, really. okay. Yeah. A lot of people were, were mentioning the overall geometry because it's small and not much saddle to bar drop. Yeah. Maybe because they don't know that a female was riding this bike when I posted the yeah. IG questions. Yeah. Um, you said this is the smaller size. You can't go any smaller than yeah, this. Yeah, can. Do you think a smaller size would fit you better? I mean, if there are other options. Mm, might be, but uh, currently because I I really changed the grand arm and uh, up the uh, seat post, I thought that currently it's okay. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Um, for my if there are any lady viewers mm. who watches these videos anyway, mm. what do you what kind of bikes do you recommend them to go on? Because most bikes are very I mean for Asians they're quite rel mm. relatively huge and you can't get very very small sizes besides a giant leaf for example. Mm. My friend who are shorter than me, uh, I mean, uh, went, went for a giant leaf. La. Other than that... You can't really get you can't know, really super get small really. sizes, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Why not a campy group set for a full Italian build? That time very hard to get. Okay, so you would consider a campy? Yeah, I, 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 I almost wanted a full it, uh, Italian, uh, but actually I even a uh, campy build set. Uh. But... Um, if I add all this, then it becomes like uh, around 15k kind of range already. Really. <laughs> yeah, I think can be uh, can be group size is not cheap. Yeah, four thousand plus, I think. Yeah, yeah for yeah. that, yeah, yeah, can be ultra. Mm. Yeah, but then. do you favor that kind of group set because you know the the shifting is on the thumb, right? Mm. That the that kind of shifting. You are you okay with that or? Actually, I never tried that. I, I, all the time, uh, uh, Shimano. Okay. Yeah, I mean previously out the grab mechanic and then now the I two. Uh, would you recommend people to go the I two? Or you think mechanical is good enough? The I2 um, smoother, I would say. Yeah. Faster, right? Faster. And you yeah. have to click in all the way. Yeah. Just like tap and then yeah, it shifts. Yeah. It's good to have, but I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's always everything, actually, in bicycle, right? <laughs> everything is a good to have. And there are so many things that I don't need on my bike. It's just a good to have. <laughs> I think it's an interesting question. Why a Basel, which you already answered? Mm. Um, can you share the goods and bads of the frame? What is good and what is bad? Okay. I mean, for Basel, right, uh, this one is really handmade in uh, Italy. And uh, I read out a bit and, um, I mean, talk to Sam, right, according to, I mean, the Basel um, owner. Actually, uh, each uh, frame took up to up to three hours of the artisan uh, to, to do the painting. So these are hand-painted? Yeah. Wow. And they claim that right, their standard is uh, as good as uh, Paganica. 
Oh. Yeah, I mean according to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I, I think I really like uh, the way I mean Basso really designed it. Um, I, I, I can feel their 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 thought process and they really like um, every every uh, minor minute uh, minute thing uh, that, that they really uh, put in the effort. Mm. Um, I like the color, but. One thing that if probably I that I don't like is is matte and it's easy easy to get the tea. Oh yeah, matte. Yeah. I had my fair share <laughs> of matte paints. I had a matte paint uh, mountain bike. The problem with that is when you get sand or whatever, yeah. and if it if it dries up, right? Yeah. It's very hard to remove on a matte yeah. paint. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you take care of your frame, since it is hand painted? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I always need to get a uh, WD forty to clean it. Oh, WD forty. Yeah. That get rid of the the, the yeah. stubborn. Yeah, uh, yeah. So this is really one thing that I really don't like about this bike, To be honest. Do they come in gloss? Mm. Gloss finish. Other other color color yes. But you wanted this orange, so you yeah. you were willing to sacrifice. Actually, I didn't know it. it's bad. Actually, I didn't maybe didn't do enough research. Oh no! So <laughs> what, were you like disappointed when you came out? It was mad. Mm. Actually, before that, I didn't know that matte have this uh this I mean uh this effect. Mm. After I use it, lah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, since you're a female cyclist, if people in my IG know, right, they will ask you this question: Is do you, when you do you smoke a lot of your male friends, <laughs> do you overtake them and then they will get very frustrated or uh, their that. ego suddenly goes <laughs> down? <laughs> I'm, I'm a good rider. <laughs> I'm a good drafter. <laughs> uh, how, how what is your advice for female cyclists who wants to get into the sport? How how do they yeah. start? Definitely must get a, a suitable bike. Yeah, no need to be expensive, but I think the size is very important. If not comfortable, definitely uh, won't won't stay in the game for long. Mm. And secondly, I think also uh, don't start with a lower range kind of bike. I mean, that's the advice I got from my friend when I started. It's, I mean, you you can get a second hand bike, but don't get a really uh, those super entry bike that. I mean, it's put so much pressure on your your knee and things like that, right? Then then you we won't stay in this game for long, mm. and um, definitely get a a group that you are comfortable with. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, we can all grow 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 in speed and things like that. I go to uh, a difficult difficult climb and all this, but uh, start with a group that you are comfortable. Then yeah. How do you get comfortable riding on roads? Because sometimes you you meet aggressive drivers that will scare you yeah, off, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What was your initial, you know, when you first started cycling? How do you, you know, get yourself confident to get under the roads? Mm, actually, I always ride in a group. I, uh, when I started cycling for just, I think within three months, actually I was knocked down by a car. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, what? I didn't go fast. How, how how were you knocked down by the car? <laughs> when I was filtering to the right, then the car just. They didn't see you. Or? Yeah, I think he did. He didn't see me. Oh no! Okay. Yeah. Okay. But luckily, that time not so serious though. So I thought that it's a good lesson for me lah that. Uh, definitely need to be very careful on the road, and uh, if if I mean if as much as possible, right in a group, mm. That's that's what I think. So normally I will uh, maybe to the meeting point is roughly fifteen k and max. Then the whole journey I will be riding in a group. So you never ride alone. Yeah, except Mount Faber, which is just like opposite by I mean uh, just nearby me, so it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to talk about? I think that we are pretty much done. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that is the end. Thank you, Jess, for coming and uh, yeah, you know have, try, having a chat with me. If you guys want to feature your bike and come on and be interviewed by me, DM me on Instagram or email me. Uh, all these videos are available for replay on Spotify. You can follow me on Discord, TikTok, and all the other nonsense. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And see you guys. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks. Step to crowd